guys. Today I'm making this little guy. I don't really know what it is. I just I started and then it evolved as I went along. Um, so it has a few pulley bits. It also has a string that I can hang it off, hang it off, and it has a rattle inside. So hopefully my baby will enjoy it. I'm going to start in the usual way. So do my slip knot. Chain two. And then do six double crochets in the second chain from the hook. Next I'm going to do two double crochets in each stitch. Now I'm going to do one double crochet followed by two double crochets in next stitch. Now it might seem like I'm just recycling and I'm being lazy, but if you have children you know that having a little baby is very time consuming and there's not really much time to do anything else and that's why I'm trying to come up with things that are very easy to do um, but also quite fun for the baby to play with. So hopefully this will also fit the bill. The next row will be two stitches with one double crochet in each and then followed by one increase. And basically this is going to be the pattern for increasing. So we'll just add one double crochet in each row and I'm going to meet you back here when I get to row 10. Okay, so now I've done 10 rows and now I'm going to do one double crochet in each stitch so no increase anymore and that's going to carry on for 9 rows. Right. I have now finished this part, um, so that's what it looks like so far, and at this stage I'm going to start decreasing. So I'm going to go for 8 stitches with 1 double crochet in each, and then 1 decrease. 1, 2, And then one decrease, which is pull the yarn over, and then go to the next stitch, pull the yarn over again, and then there are three loops on the hook, and only then do you yarn over completely. There we go. And I'm just going to repeat those steps uh, all the way around. For the next few rows, I'm going to continue decreasing. Um, so. Basically, it's the reverse of this part. So the way we were increasing here, we're going to be decreasing up here. Right, so now I've got to this point, I will have to continue to decrease and then close up. But before I do so, I want to focus on the additional bits that I'm going to use for this. So first of all, um, I'm going to make some eyes. For the eyes I'm going to start with black yarn 
and just doing my usual two chains and then six double crochets in the first one now I'm going to do a slip stitch using white yarn like so and I just need to pull everything very tightly and then do two double crochets in each stitch starting in the same one so one two and that's enough now I've got both my eyes I'm going to use a crochet needle and white yarn to go around and sew them on now because I want this open area to be my top I'm going to make them closer to this one rather than the other one so I'm just going to Go around with both, making sure that the eyes are secure. So the eyes are ready. Now I just need to give my creature a little mouth. For this next stage, I'm going to make some dangly bits for the bottom of my creature. And hopefully they will be quite stretchy, so nice to pull on. Um, so I'm going to start with a slip knot and then chain 70. Okay. So now I have 70, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back and put two double crochets in each stitch, uh, but unlike what I've been doing so far, I'm going to put the hook through and then yarn under first, and then yarn over. And then the second one again, yarn under, and then yarn over. And just repeat for every single loop on here. So. Right, I finished this side and it's curled quite nicely. So I did it throughout the whole chain. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to chain 71 this time, because one chain I'm going to leave empty and the other 70 I'm going to do exactly the same thing with. Okay, so now my chain is ready. I'm going to do um, exactly the same thing as before. So two double crochets in one stitch and continue until I just have one um, loop left without anything in it. So I've finished the other side, but um, you can see it's a bit um, twisted. It's, it's like a slinky, so I just need to make sure that it's folding in the right direction. Okay. 
And now, it's going to be easier to show. So I've left one, just one stitch there, uh, without anything. And now I'm just going to fasten off. That's done. For the time being, I'm going to leave, not very long, but I'm going to leave some some um, yarn here as well. So you have that, and here I have one that I've made earlier. And what I'm going to do is tie them together in that middle where I didn't do any double crochets. Okay, then just to be sure, I'm going to tie the yarn And now all that's left is to attach those to our creature. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do it from the inside. So um, let's have a look. So this is going to be in the middle and I'm just going to start pulling one by one. So I'm going to start from the bottom of one of the dangly bits and then just try and pull it through and then just get it through up until the knot there we go and then we can pull the other one so maybe in this hole I'm going to catch a blue one So they're all through now. Now, of course, if you wish to have more, there, there can be as many as you like, really. I'm going to stick to four for now and see how it goes. So that's it for this week. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week for part two. Bye!